All right, so we left off um, at the oil pump or getting ready to install the oil pump. Um, first thing that goes on with the oil pump is uh, this little plate. Um, it's just a metal plate and it can only really go one way. There is an alignment dowel. Actually, the dowel is kind of, I think both dowels are supposed to be on the oil pump. On this block, the uh, dowel came off the oil pump. Um, but either way, uh, you line it up corresponding to the holes in the block for the uh, bolts for the oil pump to go through. All right, just for a quick note, I do have this um, crank at TDC. And the way you could tell, two ways. One, there's this little notch right there, and it's parallel to the ground, or it would be if the block was right side up. And then, of course, I got the piston perfectly level, number one piston perfectly level with the block. It's a TDC. Now, on this oil pump, I got the WASA, W-A-S-A, uh, freewheel upgrade for the balance shaft. So it really doesn't matter if I have this on TDC because there's no point in timing the oil pump to the crank because the balance shaft is not going to be functioning. The balance shaft sprocket on, on these motors is, is a known area of weakness. And so um, if that fails, you lead to uh, lead to a potentially catastrophic uh, um, destruction in the engine. So just gonna get rid of it so we don't have to worry about it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lay the oil pump in. But before I do that, well, yeah, let me go ahead and lay the oil pump in. Again, there's a dowel here and then there's a dowel on the oil pump that'll help locate where it goes. Uh, I've doused this thing with some more marble mystery oil. All right, and then we just lay it down. <clears throat> so that dowel can do its thing. So once the dowel is kind of engaged, it just goes in, no problem. Now, you do need to use 10 new oil pump bolts. And these bolts are obviously factory. There's four of these 70 millimeter, 70 millimeter ones, three of the 55 millimeter ones, and then these three uh, unique ones. So um, they go in specific places, and the factory service manual has a map of where they go, but uh, I've sort of, I'll double check it with the, the, the manual here in a second, but I, I feel like I remember where they go. This 70 millimeter ones go like this, one, two, three, four, and then the three 55 millimeter ones. <sighs> go here, here, and here, uh -huh. and then the long one with the collar, the weird one with the collar goes here. The long silver one goes here. And I want to say, I'm sorry, the other 55 millimeter one goes here. And then the smallest one goes back here. All right, so uh, there's a torque spec for the. All right, so the torque spec is you tighten the bolts to 15 newton meters and then an additional 90 degrees. So I just want to talk about the the uh, WASA WASA freewheel and that is just a gear that kind of spins but it doesn't engage the balance shaft. Um, again that's supposed to uh, uh, buy longevity and, and durability for the oil pump. This is a common failure on the OEM oil pumps. And so this thing as well is the updated 
oil pump pickup tube. It has uh, a second inlet, whereas uh, the OEM one or the original old design just has that one inlet. If this gets clogged, you're done. If this gets clogged, you have uh, the opportunity for a second inlet to kind of pick up the slack. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, torque this down, and then uh, um, we'll move on to timing chain and whatnot. All right. All right, so let me bring you in for, uh, as we wrap up this oil, oil pump, um, like I said, <clears throat> I've torqued down the uh, the bolts to 15 newton meters plus a 90 degree turn. And again, I'm using the uh, white paint to signify the final torque. Uh, and then there's put this uh, plastic cover on. And then the last thing we're gonna do here is <clears throat> install the, um, uh, oil pump chain, right? So again, if you, uh, like I said before, I've replaced the sprocket for the balance shaft with this freewheeling sprocket, meaning the balance shaft's not gonna turn. This thing's just gonna turn without uh, turning the balance shaft. Now, ordinarily with the OEM sprocket, there's a, like a timing mark that I would use to uh, time, quote, the balance shaft to the crank, but I don't need to do that. So, um, the way I, I would install this, or the way I have installed this, I uh, just kind of fit it in place. <clears throat> install the tensioner, three uh, bolts at 15 uh, newton meters, and then I went ahead and uh, got my chain, wrapped it around the crank sprocket, and then the balance shaft sprocket. And I went ahead and put my oil pump sprocket in there. And the chain is on there with no tension on the tensioner because it's being held by this. Now, I do have to put this retaining uh, <clears throat> bolt in. And this thing has a specific torque spec of uh 20 newton meters plus a 90 degree turn one little thing to keep in mind here this sprocket has a certain way it goes on the oil pump and um it has to go that way like it won't fit in otherwise so and in this case there it is Okay, and that is a T45 um, T45 uh, Torx, <clears throat> and uh, we're going to hold it in. We're going to torque it down to 90 degrees, and if you, uh, there should be a little slot here that'll hold this balance shaft sprocket. And then, I'm sorry, not 90 degrees, uh, 20 newton meters. And then we're going to rotate it additional 90 degrees. So get a little paint, paint marker. And our little paint is that is pointing north to south and we want it to go east to west so okay now we should be able to pull the Tensioner and uh, have tension on there. All right, that looks good. Okay. At least it feels good. We'll see if it looks good in a sec. And hopefully everything spins freely. Yes, sir. All right, there it is. I think we're good on that. And then the last thing we're going to do, just to double check, it's getting nice and free. Good. 
Last thing we're going to do is pop on this plastic cover. It's got three little uh, slots that the plastic tabs go into. It's really not hard to miss, or not, it's really not difficult to put on. There it is. All right. There is the oil pump installed.